Hey, my name's Jimmy Miller, and I'm gonna tell you some stories from the road. I remember the day, even wrote down the day that I fell for you. The journey towards my making of my album has been a crazy one. It's been three years of hard work and process, and I feel like along the way you just learn who you want to be, what you want to say, and I feel like I'm finally at the point where I'm ready to tell my story. The story that I want to tell on my album, I feel like when the songs I listen to are like those heartbreaking, the, the heartbreak songs, and I feel like I had to get my heart broken, unfortunately, to to write the music that I'm that I've always wanted to make, and now I listen to my music, and I just can't wait for the world to hear because I feel like I'm writing stuff that everybody can relate to, and it's helped me through something of my life, so I hope it helps you guys. My first live performance was when I was 18. Uh, I auditioned for The Voice UK, and then I came third after I came off the show, Khloe Kardashian found me, and then that's why I moved to America, because I signed to Atlantic Records. A bucket list venue from back home. I would love to play the O2 Arena in London. That would be my total dream. I've, I've, I've climbed up, I've climbed on top of the O2 Arena, brought climbed up. So that was that was a really cool opportunity. But yeah, I'd love to play some home stages. I feel like my ultimate venue to play in the world would be Madison Square Garden. I feel like it. I, I mean, it's a dream for anybody to play, especially if you're a musician. But um, yeah, that's my dream. That's my dream place. But now I know a perfect way to let you My favourite places to write music, honestly, I just released a song called Here's Your Perfect and I wrote that in my bedroom. I was feeling really low one night. I just came out of a re relationship. I was heartbroken, didn't really have anybody to talk to and I just started writing in my journal in my bedroom. I feel like that's my safe space and I take it to the studio and then it does its own thing but I feel like, I feel like everybody has their different creative spaces but my bedroom. My favorite thing to do on a day off would be going on a hike, uh, swimming. I love swimming. I feel like going to the beach. I feel like Los Angeles is an amazing place just to go out and spend the day in the sun. For my next tour, my must pack items would be my laptop. Snacks, you always have to have snacks on the road. Snacks, I'm a fruit snack kind of guy. There's a UK candy called Winders, so they're really good. And then some chips, you can't go wrong with chips. Well, we in the UK call them crisps. I'm trying to be polite here, but crisps. Honestly, this sounds so cringy, but I always have to have a friend with me. I feel like having a good support group around me, so I'm bringing my best friend on top of me, which is exciting. By this time next year, I hope my journey takes me, honestly, like just I just want to perform all over the world. I feel like I just want to inspire people, and I feel like it's every musician's dream to like go around the world and hear people sing your lyrics back to you, but I just want to impact somebody in some way, and I feel like if I do that, then I feel like have created some sort of success. I would say I actually never thought I'd ever go on tour. I feel like where I'm from, there is a very small opportunity um, limit. So just to be able to actually say that I'm going on the road is mind boggling and such a dream come true. And I'm very grateful. Saying this a mistake, drink my troubles away.